Hello and welcome to the Preacher Life. Well, we are now halfway through the year, and a little bit past actually, and in our daily reading of the Bible, that means we're also halfway through the Bible, which is the book of Psalms. Now, like any book, there are different forms of literature in the Bible, and we need to read the Bible um, naturally, like we do for any other text. So, a lot of the Old Testament has what's called historical narrative, or things that are giving straightforward factual history. And, however, in Psalms, it is a lot of poetic language. So, in Psalms we have a lot of truths, but like any poetry type, you know, there are some kind of different uses of language. And so we need to remember that somewhat when we're reading as well. And there are 150 Psalms in the book so it takes quite a while to get through but many of them are um, useful for people for various situations in life at times of hardship or also being thankful or just plain learning as well and I am definitely not going to read all 150 psalms on this video we would be here a long time, and I don't think my battery will go that long, let alone my voice. So I do uh, encourage you, as I do all the time, to read them on your own, please. Uh, reading the Bible is beneficial for everyone, uh, whether you are new to Christianity and reading the Bible, or whether you've done it for many years like I have, it's, uh, it's always good to uh, have a daily reading. So I'm just going to read a few of them here. Uh, different sections or some of my favorites. So, such as Psalm 1 here. Verse 1 said, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. So, just these first couple opening verses, we can see an uh, idea, you know, it's good to... Uh, meditate on the law of the Lord or to study on it and to be careful of who we spend time with. Now one of my favorite Psalms is Psalm 8. Again, I won't read all of it, but here are a couple verses. Uh, verse 1 of Psalm 8 it starts this way O Lord our Lord how excellent is your name in all the earth who have set your glory above the heavens and down to verse 3 when I consider your heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have ordained what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. So, Psalm 8 here has reference back to Genesis 1 of God creating the universe and everything in it. And when we think of what we see today of stars and planets like nebula and all of the 
creation, the intricacies of the um, cells, or humans, and supposed sinful um, creatures, or even uh, fish that like to swim around a lot. Mm. They are very complex, but yet God calls us his son and daughters, and he is mindful of this. So it is a uh, indeed something to be praised that uh, what are we that God gives us his attention. So moving on a little bit here. Um, um, there are all kinds of songs to read for, like I said, different situations. Um, Psalm 14, and one that many people are familiar with. Um, will be Psalm 23, but before we get to that, we have Psalm 22. And much of the Old Testament, there are several places that are foreshadowing or telling advance of what's coming in the future. And these were written um, hundreds, if not a thousand years before Christ, depending on the author. And Psalm 22 is another foreshadowing of the uh, coming Messiah and things that Jesus also said when he was on earth. So Psalm 22 verse 1, just the first half starts off with, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And that is... Um, an exact phrase that Jesus said while he was on the cross and again is uh, showing more of the consistency of the Bible and going on so Psalm 22 starting at verse 16 here for dogs have surrounded me the Congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. And again, when we get to the New Testament and the crucifixion of Jesus, this describes exactly what um, happened during part of it. So, Jesus was very cruelly beaten, and his bones were all out of joint. And as part of the cross, they pierced his hands and feet. This is what we read here in Psalm 22. And the soldiers cast lots for his clothing. Again, as said in verse 18. So, even in uh, the Psalms, we get predictions of what is to come. So moving on here to Psalm 23. Um, again, this is a very uh, familiar one to many people. Verse 1 starts off with, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So that may be uh, familiar to some of you, or it may not. But um, 
that is, again, something that is, gives uh, comfort to us during times of trouble. And all throughout Psalms, as I said at uh, the beginning, there are different types that uh, are helpful for people at all kinds of points of life. And the very the shortest uh, chapter in the Bible is Psalm 117. That is just short two verses. If uh, you want to say you've memorized an entire book, an entire chapter of the Bible, well, that's a good place to start. But just beyond that, Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible at 176 verses. And it's a long one to read, but it has a lot to uh, learn from as well. But then the last, I'd say probably about 20 or so Psalms are working a lot with praising God and giving Him adoration. So when I get here, I'll read a little bit of Psalm 150. So Psalm 50 says, uh, Let all things praise the Lord. Verse 1 says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. And then at the end, after talking about the different uh, musical instruments and voices to praise God. Verse 6 ends this. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that is what we uh, can do for uh, God's word that has been given to us and that we can read. So, um, again, I encourage anyone to read the Psalms or um, to Start anywhere in the Bible and keep reading. But uh, until next time, that is uh, it for now on The Preacher Life. So thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.